funny, the way that we cook is so kind of rooted in the way that we ate as children. Kubion 101. And I always look for a roux to be somewhere around my skin tone for... Okay. Right. So that's really where we want it. You see that yeah. smoke is starting to surface? Yeah. I'm going to cool the pan down, not by lowering the temperature, but by adding just a little bit of onion. Watch how fast this will turn to like this deep golden brown. You can just smell that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm, it smells so good. All right, now just a little bit of white wine. This is some of our homemade tomato sauce. It's still nice and, and thick. Just a touch. Not really. A fair amount of uh, shrimp stock. Okay. So what thickness are you looking for? I want it to barely coat the back of the spoon. Okay. So I'm going to put my spoon there, look at it. Ah. Makes that clean. Ooh, it's tasting good. So I'll take my red fish. I, in the book, I use some Dizalman's catfish. I don't want to cut it into too small of chunks, but... Nice big pieces. And then right in. As you know, around New Orleans, we can't help ourselves. We More love our more. shrimp. More is better. <laughs> and so the shrimp now are going to take about as long to cook as that beautiful fish. And I want it just to bubble up like swamp water. And so just a little bubble here and there, every five seconds. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Baby, that is good. You are awesome at this. That's your first time. <laughs> Oysters oh are really coming into shape right now. And then I want some of that liquor. Okay. I'll save those. We'll fry these later. Okay. Awesome. So look at this. It's just flaking apart. Mm hmm. Mm. You're a grab that. Oh my goodness. And how easy was that? To watch you do it was amazing. Well, actually, you did it. Well. <laughs> Thanks for coming into oh the kitchen. God. This was awesome.